Hi, hello guys welcome to this channel this video i'll show you how to connect the da uh, a database from the c uh, on your cpanel to your website so <coughs> so you open your cpanel and then you have to find the databases if you are using the postgres sql or mysql or s or anything actually the the uh, the, the principle is uh, similar so i will I will demonstrate to you the common ways the MySQL database. So you just open your MySQL da databases, and then it will be listed all your database here. Commonly, people only have one database, and then I will demonstrate to you to connect it to the uh, to the WordPress uh, CMS. So here, MySQL databases, and then you you can find your uh, database. This is my database. You can check the database. Is it uh? Is it something wrong or what? And then also you can add user to that database. For example, this database. So this is okay, 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 okay. It it doesn't really matter actually. And then here the important thing is you have to create a user to can uh, to access that database. So this is my username. You can use anything. And then the password and the password again. Here are later you have to add those user to the database you want to choose and then you can click add later on finally you can see this is my user and then you can see the database connect to this user okay uh, i i explained to you f really fast i think but it's, this is very simple what you have to do is add new user and then add the user to your existing database and then that's it after that the important things is if you are using wp or the wordpress you just go to the cpanel and then you go to the file manager and then you can find your public html and then you have to find the wp dash config here wp dash config php you just right click and then click edit like that and then i already here here my uh the code is look look like like this look like this and then here you can see this is the db user you have to key in the db user and the below one is db password in the below one it should be something right written here but i delete that because that my, my my username password and then on the first one on the top here prior of the username you have to put this database name the db name you have to input okay i hope it's helpful for you if you said please subscribe our channel and then if you think you still can't understand what i'm saying you just put on the comment below uh, later I, I will i will answer your questions okay that's it thank you Thank you for watching.